boxes of Nintendo 64 games with Mario Tennis for 500 yen, which then it's on Smash Brothers for 290. Donkey Kong Game Boy for 550, which is roughly like three U, uh, four USD. Nintendo 64. So this one is only thirty dollars. Bought this and then I found a Pokemon Yellow for 200 yen. Lots of Charizards in there. Um, I'm gonna look through and let you guys know what I end up picking up. So here's all the bulk. So I was going through and I found a bunch of V cards and even some GX cards. So I'm gonna pay 20 cents each for this because it's 10 for 200 yen, which is like $1.80 for all of this for 10 cards. Some really cool vintage cards. I really want that Suicune. Um, so I might try to get that one, but there's so many cards for 20 cents that I can get. It's basically like 18 cents USD. So many cool old They got um, the Venus, the bad. So I was looking through and I found a $70. Got a lot of cool old cars, vintage stuff. Let's see if I pick anything up at this store though. Another day going shopping for some Pokemon cards and collectibles and stuff. So I'm going to a book off and I'll update you guys on what I pick up. So they got the uh, Pokemon Revolution for 300 yen, which is roughly $2 USD for a Wii game, the Pokemon. So I'm just at a random game shop and they had some cool like complete boxes of Nintendo 64 games with Mario Tennis for 500 yen, which is roughly about like three US dollars. So yeah, there's a few cool games I might pick up. That's F-Zero, um, Captain Falcon game, a complete box for 1480, so about $10. I'm just gonna look through and see if there's any good games. There's Star Fox for 500 yen, which is about three US dollars. Oh, here's Pokemon Stadium. And this one's 390, so that's definitely overpriced. But I'll just see what there is and kind of show you guys if I do pick anything up. So I think this is a pretty good deal for a complete box. Pretty good condition, Mario Tennis for 500 yen, which is roughly 380 USD. Then I found Smash Brothers for 290, which is with tax, maybe 300 yen. And that'll be like three dollars, so in US or three hundred yen, so US would be like two fifty, two dollars fifty cents for uh, Smash Brothers, Smash Bros. And then there's also um, Mario sixty four for two ninety, which is roughly the same. So like a dollar, like it'd be like two dollars basically. So I think I might pick these up, and um, yeah, so I think these will be a good deal. Like I think I can flip these pretty easily. Here's another cool thing, they got a DS for 2,000 yen, which is a bit much. Um, I used to buy DS's for like $2, 200 yen, um, so I'm going to probably look for those. This place also has a few Pokemon DS games. Um, that's the 3DS uh, Sapphire one for 1680, 1,680 yen, which is roughly like 13 USD. Then they got Pokemon X for 980. Um, yeah, not too bad, but I'm not going to pick those up today. And uh, yeah, there's a few other stuff to look through. I just found a complete uh, original Donkey Kong Game Boy for 550, which is roughly like three U uh, 4 USD. So I might pick this up because it's complete with manual and everything. But it's that's why it's Japanese stores are so cool, because you can find stuff like this for really cheap. Like $4 for a complete Game Boy game, original. And I actually decided that I'm going to pick this up as well. Um, even though this one's a bit more, I think this is like a $60 complete game because the game's pretty rare. I'm just looking at some of these Switch games. That's pretty cheap. Even for a used one, that's $22.80. So that's like roughly $18 USD for a used uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. So that's pretty cheap. But um, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, same with Arceus as well. That one's like a $20 USD game. There's so much cool stuff. They got even this stuff like this. I don't collect Star Wars, but it's just cool to see. Damn, it's crazy. I just looked this up on eBay and this is going for like 50 bucks and it's only uh, 13 US dollars. This is unopened, really good condition, carded and everything. But yeah, the Japan has a lot of cool stuff like that. Um, yeah, the store's like a gold mine actually. So I'm at a new one and they have a complete Nintendo 64 for 88,000 yen or 8,800 yen, which is roughly about I think like 70 USD, I believe. Um, there's a few game stuff here. I'm gonna look through some of these, see if there's any older stuff. Um, I see a few cartridges here, but these might be for, yeah, 110 yen, that's pretty cheap. That's a reasonable price. Um, 
There's a few Game Boy games in here. I'll see this one, like I just showed you earlier that the, the complete version was 500 yen for the complete and this one's 550 for just the game. So um, I'm gonna look for some Pokemon game stuff, but um, I'll, yeah, I'll take more footage if I see anything good or interesting. So I was going through a few Switch games and you guys can let me know for a used Switch Diamond, $13 or 1,320 yen, which is roughly like 10 USD. Uh, you guys can let me know if this if i should buy this um i'm gonna leave it just because um actually you know what maybe i will buy it because it's actually not that expensive so i might just pick this up if you guys can also let me know if uh 44 000, 4, 400 yen which is like 38 usd is a good deal for a dsi at uh, 2xl blue um all right that was an awesome store um i'm going to be going to this uh used game shop with carts as well um, i think this one will have mostly cards but um, I'll show you what I pick up from this store. So this place is actually a bit overpriced, but um, I'm just gonna look through anyway and see if there's anything good. But um, just by looking at a few of the cards, um, yeah, it's definitely a bit overpriced. Uh, the good thing about this place, it looks like there's a quite a bit of selection for the vintage game stuff. There's a lot of um, Nintendo 64 games, um, inboxes for Game Boy. That's a uh, Ruby version for 50 bucks, which is roughly 40 USD, I believe, for complete. Um, they got a bunch of games here. Um, yeah, I just gotta take my time and kind of look through what there is. Um, here's a blue version for 980, I believe $10. Uh, so this is like about eight or seven USD, depending on um, depending on when you're buying it. But um, yeah, like 10 bucks. It seems like blue is the like most expensive out of the three, out of red version, and green version. Um, but yeah, I just gotta see what there is and let you guys know when I what I end up picking up. So here's a complete Nintendo 3D, uh, not 3D, it's just a normal Nintendo DS for 3,000 yen, which is like about $22, a really best stick. Um, yeah, just a bunch of stuff. We, I don't know how much this one is. We is 1,000 yen, which is roughly five, to, uh, seven US dollars. That's pretty good for a Wii, a, with Wii from sports. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. I might actually pick this one up. Oh, here's a Nintendo 64. So this one is only $30. It's pretty good. Uh, complete. It's got everything. $30 for the box. With the box, I think it's a pretty good deal. So I might pick that up. So I'm going through all this and then I found a Pokemon Yellow for 200 yen. I'm going to definitely pick this up. That's a pretty good deal for a Yellow version. Um, and I'm just kind of going through and looking for other stuff that I might want to resell or kind of add to my collection. I've just been buying a lot of Pokemon just because it's a, a seller that um, it's just really easy to sell for me. But uh, for 200 yen, that's not too bad. So I might just pick that up, the yellow version, and um, yeah, go with that. There's a cool corner over there where um, everything you buy, it's 50% off if you hit uh, three stuff, three things. If you buy three things, it's everything's 50% off. And these are all like 100 yen and 50 yen. So I essentially get 50% off of this. So that's like 250 yen. So all is for a dollar, uh, essentially USD. And they're just like, um, it's like, so you can put your mask in. Um, and then this is like a towel, a blue towel, Majin Buu, Evil Buu. And then I got a Majin Buu towel, really cool. like. I don't know, it's just really cool to have. So I'm gonna buy that and I'm gonna buy the um, Nintendo 64 complete and I'm gonna buy this Pokemon Yellow. So I just bought that yellow version as well. Um, it is a bit of a risk for me for the yellow version because it's untested. Uh, I don't know if it actually works, but I mean for 200 yen, which is roughly about like a dollar fifty USD. Um, worst case, if it didn't work, I mean it's not too much of a risk, but I just bought it anyway because if it did work, I could sell for at least fifteen dollars USD. And um, yeah, worst case, it just wasn't too much of a risk. So uh, yeah, I picked that up, and yeah, I hope you like this video because I think that there's a lot, been a few good things that I've bought today just for myself for my own collection as well as stuff that I can resell hopefully if it does work uh, but yeah I'll just test that out when I get back to America and test out all the, the games that I end up purchasing but that's why I try to keep my cost very low because um, so I don't have to have too much of a risk welcome back to my video today is another day in Kyoto the next video this video I'm going to be going to uh, a shop in Kyoto called book off again 
and I'll update you guys when I get there. Hopefully I find some stuff, but um, yeah, I'll update you guys when I get there. So I'm taking a little break at this park because it's gonna be a 20, 30 minute walk. Um, so I'm gonna drink some coffee at this park before I walk over. Um, I believe that there's like a hobby type store right across the store from the book off that I bought a bunch of Dragon Ball Z like uh, par paraphernalia last time, like cups and plates and stuff for really cheap for like, I think 50 cents. 50 cents USD so um, it'd be good to kind of check out what's there and find stuff that I can resell or add to my collection uh, but yeah once I get there I think that I'll go to these two stores and this video will basically be just what I pick up at those two stores all right I just finally arrived I'll be going in and showing you guys what I pick up at this book off lots of Charizards in there um, I'm gonna look through and let you guys know what I end up picking up. So here's all the bulk. Buy 10 for 200. I'll see if there is any cards that I want from here. Uh, well, that's a cool Gyarados card. Um, 10 cards for 100 yen, that's pretty good. Or 10 cards for 200 yen. So 20 yen each basically, which is like about 18 cents USD. Uh, pretty cool. So I was going through and I found a bunch of V cards and even some GX cards. So I'm gonna pay 20 cents each for this because it's 10 for 200 yen, which is like $1.80 for all of this for 10 cards. Um, but yeah, pretty cool to find. Man, crazy. So I just gone through all these and there's so many cards for 20 cents that I can get. It's basically like 18 cents USD. So many cool old cards as well, the GXs. So I think I'm gonna buy 20 of these cards for 400 yen, which is about $3 for all of this. Crazy deal. So they've got a bunch of retro game stuff. Fully suck at the store. Um, a lot of Game Boy, Ultraman, Sonic, and then a bunch of carded box stores as well. So I'll look through and see what you guys uh, might think is a good buy. Okay, they got some really cool vintage cards. I really want that Suicune. Um, so I might try to get that one, but we'll see how much um, how much cards I pick up. So I was looking through and I found a seventy dollar uh, complete. Uh, Nintendo 64 Blue Teal Special Edition, it's 10% off, so $60. I totally would buy this if I lived here, but it's a bit too much at the moment for, for me to carry. There's also a $90, so 88,000 yen Nintendo uh, SP, awesome to see. Alright, so pretty cool buy. Um, I looked at a bunch of those vintage cars, but on, uh, Unluckily, um, all the vintage cars were a bit damaged and I thought that for my collection It wouldn't be that cool to have like really damaged cars as well as being able to resell them So I ended up picking it up But the other 10 cars that I got for 20 cents each were the GX old cars of the Japanese stuff And other cards that I picked up were pretty cool So I'll show you guys when I get back home um, all those cards and I'm just gonna walk through the rain Maybe get some lunch and then show you guys what I picked up from the store and hopefully um, you guys are able to go out when you guys go to Japan and find some really cool cards like I just did. Just dipping my feet in the river in between shops. Um, beautiful day. Uh, I'm at a, uh, another store. It was actually a book off store, but um, this is going to be the second store. This is just another quick store that I'll be dropping off with the books, book off in Kyoto. Let's see what there is. A lot of cool old cars, vintage stuff. Let's see if I pick anything up at this store though. Um, yeah, some really cool cars. They got um, the Venus, the bad, the dark Venusaur PSA 9 for almost like $200. Pretty cool to see the uh, 151 Venusaur for about $58 bunch of really cool Pokemon toys in here and just random toys that I might pick up for 100 yen uh, so we'll see what I pick up and let you guys know we got a bunch of retro stuff here Thank you. but yeah nothing that I see that I want to pick up today at this one I ended up not buying anything at that store just because a lot of the stuff was a bit overpriced and stuff that I don't really want to sell. But for my own collection, I got these two Dragon Ball Z posters or Dragon Ball posters um, that were cool. 110 yen each, so they're like 90 cents USD. I got this one that was really cool. Um, and I was just going to put it up in my room. Um, and this one as well. Really cool artwork. So hopefully, um, yeah, like it was a good deal because it's just cool artwork and yeah. Oh, oh, it's mostly for my own uh, collection anyway. I'm back in my hotel room. Um, today, I wasn't able to go to the second store. Hopefully, I can be, be able to go to uh, another time. But I'll just show you guys what I picked up today. 
uh, with a total of 200 yen, which is about a dollar eighty USD. Uh, sorry, a dollar yeah, a dollar eighty roughly, or I would say more like a dollar sixty USD currently uh, with the rates. Um, but I was able to pick up ten Pokemon cards for 200 yen, and these cards I usually go to the mall, and there's a bunch of these Dragon Ball Z super cards that are just laying around. People who don't want to, uh, who want, who don't want the cards, just leave them there. Um, and I usually just pick them up because you know they're, they're just basically free cards. Some of them are hollow, really cool cards. I'll probably just lock these up. Um, I put probably put like a hundred of these for like five to ten dollars um, for a bunch of them. It's just a cool. It's got cool artwork cool holo cards so i'll probably do that um just you know found a few at the mall uh and these 10 is what i picked up today really good buy for 200 yen essentially comes out to 20 yen a per card which is about like 16 cents uh usd so really good deal um i was able to pick up i usually try to pick it up uh that are cards that are gx's even though there's i don't even know what this pokemon is it says shindende which is like it looks like a square box pokemon but it's a gx so i picked it up um, Samurai V for 20, 16 cents USD, pretty good deal for a V-Star card. Um, I try to pick up V-Star and GX cards. Another one of these, um, a Glossal Speed, um, GX. Another GX card, really cool. Uh, I just like picking up GX because they don't make them anymore and they probably won't print them any, anymore. Uh, GX and as well as V-Star. So yeah, really cool cards to pick up for twenty cents, twenty two dollars for everything, which is a dollar sixty USD. Really good deal for a bunch of these lots of cards. Um, so this video will be a bit shorter today because I didn't pick up too much, but hopefully I'll be able to go to the other store next time and show you guys what I pick up. Uh, but yeah, just a little haul of. Uh, some Dragon Ball Z cards that I picked up, as well as Pokemon cards. So yeah, if you like this video, I hope to see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.